So we are two months away from one of the biggest films of all time, Spider-Man No Way Home. And this week's Empire Magazine issue, it's dedicated to No Way Home. So we're gonna be getting a ton of information regarding the film. And guys, we got some new images, some new, I guess like uh, art, art pieces, official art pieces from the film that should be freaking teaser posters. But again, Sony is holding out on releasing that poster after the second trailer. And guys, tomorrow might be the day where we get the second trailer. So with this week's launch with the new Empire Magazine issue, they decided to release two new images from Spider-Man No Way Home. And both of them get me pretty damn excited. The first one is a shot of Peter doing the iconic Spider-Man pose. And he looks, he looks like he's gotten his butt whooped, but he's ready to face off against whatever or whoever he's looking at. And then the second image shows Peter running from Doc Ock on the highway. Now guys, a ton of people are complaining about this shot because it looks extremely cartoony, but I do wanna let you guys know that by the time the film comes out in December, the CGI is gonna be looking a lot better. And again, this shot, the, I find it kind of weird why they picked this shot because one, it's a moving shot. It's not like a still image. So I don't understand why they picked this to be an Empire magazine, but yeah, regardless, it's freaking Alfred Molina's Doc Ock chasing Tom Holland's Spider-Man. How does that not get you excited? And with the release of these images, we also got a statement from the director of the film, John Watts, from the magazine, and he's comparing this film to Avengers Endgame. He's calling this, this film Spider-Man Endgame. And that's pretty damn exciting because guys, you know, with all of the evidence out there surrounding the involvement of Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield appearing in this film, the, him saying this is gonna be Spider-Man Endgame, I'm sorry, this can't be Spider-Man Endgame without Toby and Andrew to complete the puzzle piece, to complete the perfect freaking Spider-Man movie. You have all of the OG villains coming back and you're not gonna bring back Toby and Andrew. I mean, we all know, we all know where, I guess we're all expecting to see the two goats show up and team up with Tom to stop these villains. But to hear John Watts say that and compare this film to Avengers Endgame and to call it Spider-Man Endgame, it tells me everything I need to know. It looks like the beast has awakened. Four, can I film a video? We're talking about No Way Home, bro. Come on. No, he's literally taking me out, guys. Help! And guys, there is a pattern between Empire Magazine releases and MCU trailers. So usually when an Empire Magazine cover that is focused on a particular MCU film, usually when that comes out, the second trailer for that film usually drops either a day or a couple of days before the Empire Magazine cover drops. This happened for Far From Home, this happened for Endgame, this happened for Shang-Chi. So it's very likely that with the release of this new magazine, we could be getting the trailer this week. And all of the rumors are surrounding Monday, which is tomorrow. So tomorrow could be one of the greatest days of our entire life. Another thing too, and take this with a grain of salt, but apparently a movie theater employee saw the pre-show that's linked to Eternals. So you guys know, with, once a movie comes out in theaters, there's a pre-show for that movie and it has like a set of trailers and one of the trailers that was on the pre-show was untitled and it was three minutes and 33 seconds long and the scheduled release for this trailer was Monday, October 26. And with Eternals being a massive Marvel film that has the same audience as No Way Home, it would be extremely smart on Sony's end to drop the trailer so that like that it could be attached to Eternals once Eternals hits theaters. And while you're at it, drop a freaking poster. But guys, there's a reason we're two months away from this movie hitting theaters and we still don't have a poster. I mean, Marvel is notorious for their infamous movie posters where you have like everyone and their freaking mother and grandmother and family tree on the damn poster. Well, the reason Sony hasn't released a poster for Spider-Man No Way Home, there's only one answer, spoilers. Because there are a ton of characters on this poster that have not yet to that have not yet been revealed. And I think after this next trailer, it's going to be very clear who's gonna be involved with in this film. And they're gonna let the world know. It's gonna be the biggest announcement that we've ever seen. So guys, the trailer might come out, but it also might not come out. We don't know. The marketing campaign for Spider-Man No Way Home has been extremely weird. And if the, if the last trailer didn't, didn't get leaked online, I don't know if we would have gotten it on that day. So with that being said, we're gonna be ready regardless. Tomorrow I'm gonna wake up at three in the morning and I'm just gonna be camping out. I'm gonna be going live on TikTok and I'm just gonna be camping out for this trailer. And if I'm praying to the heavens that it drops, and if it doesn't, then guess what? We'll live to fight another day. But regardless, subscribe to this channel right now and hit that bell notification on my channel to get notified when these videos come out. Cause who knows, my next video might be 
Spider-Man No Way Home official trailer reaction or final trailer reaction. Who knows? Whatever it's titled, we're going to be ready to go. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. I love you guys 3000 and I'll see you guys next time.